I can't make up my mind again. Hey everyone and welcome back to Jack's life number 26. We obviously need to fix a few more things still like the floor in the garden and just the tables and carpets everywhere. So we are going to do that today but the house is almost finished. We just need to add some more detail and such but I am so happy that we are almost there you guys. Okay so first thing that I see is that my bed isn't made so let me do that real quick because I can't stand an unmade bed. So what we're gonna do now is gonna go straight into building mode wow the house value is already 76 no 67,000 no 76,000 dollars what is wrong with me and we have nine thousand dollars in our account which I am so so happy about so let's remove this table or do we still need it I thought we got a new table last week okay yes we did so let's remove this table let's remove this we also got oh yeah I don't have the multiple floor game pass I forgot about that we also have this roof that we used to copy the color over and I think that's about everything we are going to to remove for now then in the garden we still need a floor but what I wanted to do is create a little area over here so I'm gonna remove this door I'm gonna place a new one a smaller one so I'm gonna use this door right here and I guess I want to turn the direction in which it opens so I'm gonna place it to the other side I'm gonna copy this color and in the middle of the garden I kind of want to create a little flower bed something like that it would be nice to just have something in here that we can use as like a flower garden something like that and then of course we need to finish off the flooring for the backyard so yes it's gonna be a very busy building day for Jack once again but it's still going to be worth it in the end okay and now we just need to fill in all the the blank spaces and then this is going to be our flower bed so I'm gonna use this color or maybe just grass I don't know should I should I use grass Nah, I'm not gonna use grass and then I want some fencing around but I don't know if it'll work with the door oh it works that is amazing I'm gonna paint that in the same color as the brick walls that we have so it matches or it all blends in together now the windows in the kitchen I don't really know if they match the house I'm gonna keep them for now but I don't think I will and now I'm just looking at how I'm going to put everything down for this house because I'm kind of lost with how I want it, to be honest. I think I'm going to keep it at this and then we just need to fill this with flowers. So clearly this little garden, I don't know, it looks a little bit weird. So I'm going to change it and make it look more like a desert kind of thingy. So I'm going to change it to a sand color and then use sand for the flooring. And I think that will look a little bit better. I know it doesn't really match with this style but I feel like having some cacti around will be a nice thing and also I might make it one bit tinier because the roof ends right here and it's kind of weird that it comes out like where the roof is you know what no I'm, I'm not gonna do that wow I'm so hesitant today I can't make up my mind again so okay first of all we need a tiny waterfall so I decided to uh, ditch the waterfall because it just doesn't match and it looks kind of weird so yes I am just going to be focusing on the cacti garden over here so I do want a big cactus right here but as you can see without the placement uh, uh, grid thingy uh, the advanced placing that's what I meant it is just kind of hard to do so I'm not going to be doing that I'm going to be placing some short grass around here as well but first of all I do want another tiny cactus over here and then maybe another cactus somewhere else if there's like a small one that I can use okay so this one looks kind of cute but I don't know if I like it and can we add another tiny rock in here that would be amazing but this rock is a little too big I'm looking for that heart-shaped rock that we had uh, before all the gardening stuff no we cannot place that uh, what if I add a small dirt pile in here something like that and then connect this and then paint this in the same color as the rocks do we have any rocks in here we do not have any rocks in the garden so I'm just gonna be trying to pick a color that I think matches uh, a rock color yeah I'm gonna go for this and then I'm gonna paint this as well I think I think this looks a little bit better than what we had before we also need more lights in the backyard of course because right now it is quite dark in here if we can be honest about that so I'm gonna be picking these spots up I'm gonna be placing them under my roof and of course we don't want them in that bright white color everything is just gonna shine on us like crazy so we are gonna just paint it in a linen color and then of course right here we need a light as well to light up our 
cacti garden, <laughs> our little desert garden right here. And then we are gonna do this as well. And then I want kind of like a plant pot, but with a finished plant inside it. <laughs> I cannot wait till the plant is fully grown. So I don't know how I am, how I am going to do that, but um, I don't know, just gonna be placing a planter right here and gonna turn it this way. And then of course it needs to match the color of the rest of the house. So we are gonna do that. And I think our garden looks a lot better already. I'm going to paint this in a white color, the, the stairs to go into the swimming pool, because I do think that matches the style of the house a little bit more. Right here, why is there a sofa over here? I, I don't know. The, last time, did I say it was an outdoor sofa? Because it doesn't really look like one, but okay, um, I might be I might be completely wrong about that. Let's fill up this floor right here, paint it in the same color as the outside path that we used, and then the inside of the shed is just going to be this brick and of course we don't have a washing machine yet so I do want to give Jack a washing machine if it's not too expensive. Isn't there a washer dryer combo that we can use? Yes, stacked washer dryer, but I don't know if I want that. So I'm just going to be placing two of those. Oh, why can I not place that right here? Let me just turn this and then we need the basic washer as well. So I'm going to be placing this right here. And then right next to it, I'm going to have my household equipment because we do need that. And of course, on top of the dryer, or can't we put that on top of the dryer? No, it's, it's really hard to do so without the advanced placing. So I'm going to be placing that on the ground, a laundry basket. We need that. And of course, the ironing board I'm gonna put in here as well. Uh, it's gonna be quite cold in the winter to do the ironing, but who does ironing anyways? So let's just place that right here and let's pick a material for that. Why not go with the zebra print? It looks amazing, yes. And then we need some lights in here, so I'm gonna be copying the spots that I used over here and I'm just gonna be placing them in the center of this shed thingy that we have going on. And in real life the sun is hitting my screen so bad I'm going to close close my blind real quick. Oh, and before I forget, and since we still have money to do that, I'm going to be placing a power switch inside this chat as well, because I do think it's quite important to have that. Then right here, we do need a lot more decorations. I don't know what I'm going to add yet, but of course we do need a frame on the wall, so I'm going to add a frame, maybe two frames right next to each other, that would be nice. I'm just gonna look for painting in the catalog and gonna try and see if we can like match this. Are there any lights? Maybe a reading area would be nice, so if we put this above the fireplace, place and then we go to storage and we pick the uh, bookshelves right here. Is there a desk that also matches with the style of this? We have the white bookshelf like this but it would be nice if we could like have a new desk, clear the area in the bedroom so that if it's right here we think about using the desk a little bit more. So let me go and check for tables and see if we have a traditional looking desk. No we do not have that. Uh, we have this the rustic desk but that won't match with the style. So I'm just gonna be adding a little reading nook right here so that Jack can finally read some books in peace. And of course I'm going to be adding a uh, relaxing chair so Jack can, uh, I don't know, relax, look outside through the glass door right here and just enjoy his surroundings when he's reading, if that ever happens. Okay, I'm gonna just copy the color that I used for the couch. Now this is quite weird, so I'm just gonna be using the colors from the chairs, but I'm going to make it softer and no it doesn't match because it's green on green, so let me pick a brown color and and maybe paint this in the green color that we used for the chairs. Yes, that looks a lot better already. Now for this, I'm going to be copying that wood style that we had going on. And of course, I do need to fill in this bookshelf. So this is going to be quite expensive because that's a lot of decorations going into it. Um, so I'm gonna look for the books. And I kind of tend to go for these ordered books because they do already have like words on them and such. And I feel like it's easier to fill it up with this than with the books that you still have to color and I do think they're a little cheaper or am I wrong about that? No, they're even five dollars more expensive. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that are enough books. We do need a light in the bookshelf as well, so I'm gonna be placing that inside as well. Um, let me find that square light that I use a lot. Here it is. So it's 3.30 a.m. I am so sorry, Jack. Wow. But yes, we do need some more decorations. I think I did have... Yes, I'm, I'm finally giving you a spot, my tiny reindeer. And you are going into the bookshelf because I do think you match here. And then, of course, I'm going to be buying a very expensive light that I wanted for a very long time but didn't have the money to. Or do I already have one in my house? I do already have one in my house. That, that is a little bit weird to have two of those. So I'm going to be picking another light. I'm going to go for the... Uh, 
cheaper $80 light, but that doesn't really match the area. You know what? I'm going to put the cheaper light over here. going to uh, paint this in this color over here. Yes, that will be perfect. And then let me grab this light and I'm going to put that one next to the bookshelf. So that is a little bit more filled up. And maybe I want to copy this carpet and add it to this area right here just so it looks a little bit cuter and a little bit more cozy. And then of course I'm going to paint this gold in more of a white color so it matches with the rest of the house. And of course another plant. So right next to the fireplace I'm going to be putting this. And then the table is quite dead looking as well but we do have uh, these placemats so I'm going to try and give everyone a little placemat so it fills up the table a little bit better. I cannot place place mats that is so hard to say <laughs> on the uh, top of the tables because that will just interfere with all the others now I do want a nice placemat maybe in the green color that we used for the chairs and then we need a nice material for this as well so the placemats I don't know what I should choose there's so many options okay just gonna go for the letter I guess and then I'm gonna put a tiny little plant on the table and yes we did skip sleeping this night Night, but I hope Jack won't be mad at me for that. There we go. No, this is not centered at all. Let me center this. Okay, I think this looks a little bit better already. And then I want a very big plant at the window over there um, just to fill up the space a little bit more and just have it a little bit more cozy. So I'm gonna put this really huge plant over here. I'm gonna copy the colors from this one. There we go. That looks a lot better already. So let's get out of build mode and see what we have done with the living room so far. The hallway still needs some work, but I feel like we are getting there. Also, the sides of the house still need some work, but we are going to finish this. I'm going to have to add a painting in this one. Now, what fits for Jack? Um, Jack likes gardening, so why not do a field? And add this field of flowers in. Nah, this doesn't really match with the house, does it? The house is quite dark, so I don't know. Maybe I should just look for art and <laughs> fill it with an art piece. Oh, this is a nice one. Ooh, I kind of like this one. The quality isn't the best, but it also doesn't really <laughs> go with the house. So I'm, I'm going to just keep on looking and see where I, uh, where I end up. Okay, so this one fits a little bit better with like the house with the colors and everything. So I'm gonna keep this one, gonna use it. Um, did I actually like, yeah, I think I did. Oh my god, I forgot to move the light and now the light is just in the center of the room. But okay, I'm just gonna have to move that again. But this is what we have currently. I'm going to change the um, color of the poof because right now it has green wood on it. This is our reading nook now. We can look outside while reading. Enjoy the kitchen and everything. Why is the house so dark all of a sudden? I, I feel like we need a little bit more light in. That might be my opinion. Then this is our little cacti garden over here. And of course the barbecue area that we moved and the lounge area is now right here. And then we go over here and we have our uh, garden that we don't use anymore but I'm definitely going to have to use that again. And then right here we have our shed with the power switch of course. Do we have any bills to pay? No we do not have any bills to pay. Okay that is that is absolutely amazing. Now I will sleep for a little bit and then go to work and that will be the end of the episode. As you know I work at the end of the episode now just because it's a little easier to start building and spending money at the beginning of the episode than it is in the middle of the episode. So I am going to work a little bit make sure I get to like seven thousand dollars something like that but we are nearing the end of Hard Knock Life you guys and I am so ready to finish this house so I'm going to be so happy when it is finished now that was it for today guys you can continue watching me work if you want to I will record it and include it in the video thank you guys so much for watching hit that like button and please subscribe